This pair of African wild dogs is haunted by fate. They are the last surviving members of their pack after a disastrous rabies outbreak. And nothing in their life is currently as it is supposed to be. Now the two of them have to face the dangers of the African bush, fighting for the survival of their young family against foes that aren't easily overcome, even with the help of a large pack. Will the parents win this battle for survival? Will they prevail without a pack having their backs? Or will someone be left in the dust? These two African wild dogs striding through Zimbabwe's bush have a difficult task ahead of them. They are partners, the female is pregnant, and they are alone. Normally, wild dogs live together in large packs of 20, or sometimes even more. Each dog is important, and they all help one another. African wild dogs are known to assist weak or ill pack members, but most of the help is needed when it comes to raising offspring. Female wild dogs can have up to 20 pups, a lot of mouths to feed. Fortunately, these canines are an extremely social species. While the mother stays behind with the pups, the rest of the pack goes out to hunt. Once they are successful, the hunters return to feed the mother and pups. They will regurgitate their prey. In a wild dog pack, the weaker members eat first to ensure their survival. And survival is crucial, not only for the individual, but also for the whole wild dog population. Wild dog numbers have decreased, not just in Zimbabwe, but throughout the continent. African wild dogs are considered endangered. According to the IUCN Red List, only around 6,600 adult dogs are left, with only 1,400 able to breed. And these numbers are from data collected in 2012. Our lonely couple has made it through the last three months. They have helped to grow the wild dog population with nine little pups. During this time, the female had to stay behind in their cave, caring for the young, while her mate had to do all the hunting alone. The youngsters have grown strong and are now old enough to leave the cave. But in no way does this mean that the challenges are over. Now the parents have to teach their offspring how to survive out here. As the pack resumes its nomadic lifestyle, responsibilities shift. Today, the female takes on the role of hunter, while the father keeps a watchful eye on the pups. They are not the only predators that prowl the landscape. Mother Dog is an experienced hunter and manages to take down an impala on her own. She calls for her family to come and feast. Like always, the pups eat first. But normally, hunting alone is not the preferred method of African wild dogs. Wild dogs are the most successful hunters in Africa. Their tactical hunts boast an impressive 80% success rate, far surpassing their biggest competitors, lions, which are around 20 to 30% successful. Lions tend to surprise their prey and end it with a fast attack. These cats are bigger and stronger, so they can kill larger prey. In contrast, wild dogs' high success rate relies on their amazing teamwork. When a huge pack starts a hunt, they approach their prey in silence and then begin a drive hunt, preferably in a wide and open landscape. They shoo the herd and focus on one animal until it is tired, then kill it. But their species' impressive hunting tactics don't really help our wild dog family right now. The pups are still too inexperienced to put them to use. In the thicket, bushes, trees, and tall grass make the terrain more difficult to navigate, and also mask other dangers that lurk between them. Hyenas, one of the dog's main competitors. Learning how to deal with your rivals is a crucial skill for survival. These scavengers like to steal kills from wild dogs, and a smart dog lets them. Their bone-crushing jaws would make a short work out of a spotted rival. So, in return, the dogs annoy and agitate them whenever they find them resting. 
The dogs, both old and young, seem to enjoy teasing the hyenas, and today the scavengers just bear with it. But the two bickering parties are not alone. Lions are watching. They will kill any other competitor if a chance presents itself. But both hyenas and wild dogs notice the big cats just in time, and the lion's moment of surprise is gone. The lions respect numbers. A pack of wild dogs and a clan of annoyed hyenas may be too much all at once, even for the big cats. Now it's a Zimbabwean standoff. Neither party dares to attack, as the third one could then interfere. The perfect opportunity for the adult dogs to show their pups how dangerous the felines are. The lions decide to leave without any blood spilled, but their deadly shadow hangs over the young wild dog pack's future like a blood red blanket. Against all odds, the pair has done the unthinkable. Almost a year after their birth, all nine pups are still alive and kicking. And things are about to get even more lively. The female is pregnant again, but this time the parents are not alone. The teens will be a big help when hunting prey, if they aren't distracted by something. For a time, all goes smoothly, but then tragedy strikes. The pack takes longer than usual to return from the hunt, and two members are missing. The female sprints away, looking for the missing dogs. But when she finds them, it is too late. Her longtime mate and one of her teen daughters lie dead on the ground. The lion's dirty work. She lingers for a time, but needs to return. Her children are waiting. What to do now? This tragic event calls for an emergency plan. The female needs to leave her old home behind. With lions in the vicinity, it is too dangerous to stay. Not too far away, she finds a spot that seems safe, higher up the cliff and harder to access. She must act fast and gather her large family, but moving with 12 pups will prove difficult. The pups, once excited, tire quickly. The mother must move swiftly, transferring each one to the new den. But one daunting question still hangs over the pack, how to feed all of them? Today, it's up to the teenagers to bring in prey for the pack. It's time to put the skills passed down from their father to the test. The teen pack stalks the bush. They need to find Impala, the prey they are most familiar with. One of the boys takes the lead. He spots a herd and starts the hunt. It's utter chaos. Prey and hunters scatter in the thick bush. Even for a more experienced group, this landscape would prove a challenge. They need a change of tactics. African wild dogs can alter their strategy to fit their habitat. Some dogs can shift to a more cheetah-like approach. They will still hunt as a pack, but instead of the whole group focusing on one prey together, each dog will chase after a single animal. With this tactic, not every dog is successful, but more targets mean more chances of a kill. The mom waits back at the den. She is hungry and impatient, and her increasingly annoying pups don't make it any better. But then the teens return, and their bloody snouts tell of a successful hunt. Against all odds, the family have survived. Now, a large and successful pack of their own, they leave the den behind to grow even stronger. Hope you enjoyed this story. Please like and subscribe, and check out our other wild dog story here, or take a look at our playlist for more stories like this one. Until next time.